my loves and welcome back to the channel. I'm just about to head out to my friend Liz's restaurant, May May at Barra Market. I've actually been there before, but this one is actually gonna be at the new branch, which is called Ba, uh, which is 84 in Mandarin. Tonight is the last day of service because they have announced a month long lockdown in England. So I thought I would go and see Liz and Steele. I'm gonna meet my friend Leah over there and it's gonna be outdoor seating. So it still follows the rules and regulations of London currently. Let us make the most of this meal. <laughs> I'm gonna try and film as much as I can because this might be the last time we'll see food uh, on the channel that isn't in the flat. But anyway, let's go. May May is based in Borough Market and the signature dishes are currently available for takeaway right now if you're nearby. Hello, lady herself, some bubbles. But you guys are still opening for takeaway and deliveries. We have to, otherwise we're out of action. So please come support. You've already got May May fried chicken, so maybe you don't need the chili chicken wings on this occasion. Yeah. But the purple sprouting broccoli, I think that is a win because you've got the sambal to go with it. Mm. It's cooked over the fire. I'm gonna let you just I like, don't know how hungry you are because I was I'm gonna like, suggest Pineese chicken, Pine the, chicken yeah. and then maybe a curry. Yes. Just like the veggie curry, but yes. too much food. Yes, good, so yeah. Still. <laughs> yeah, say hi. Hi everyone. You're the one with the um, allergy, right, in Nigel's video. <laughs> yeah, supposedly, the fake allergy. Yeah, I was the cameraman on the Uncle, Uncle Roger's video. Yeah. I filmed that, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. That's why we did a test run. I was like, I'll pretend I've got a peanut allergy. Multi-talented team at May May. Let's do it all. It's my beautiful date for the evening. Leah. Hello. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for the food. I've ordered so much food. So much food. And a bottle of I like how you went, is this enough food? You went, mm-hmm. <laughs> ordered a bottle of Portuguese sparkling wine and enjoyed carning food oysters with May May's chili sauce. The signature fried chicken with miso mayo, tare and caviar is a must order. And we also had purple sprouted broccoli with sambal and peanuts. I'm just sitting here making some very inappropriate noises over the May May fried chicken with the caviar and the miso mayonnaise. It is so good. Leah was like, her eyes just went ding. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, let me finish my broccoli and I can eat this chicken. So good. Like, if you love fried chicken like me and you love mayonnaise and caviar, I mean, like, how luxurious. Come on down. Let me show you Leah's reaction. What? It's really good. <laughs> For mains, we ordered half a Hainese chicken. I featured this dish on the channel before, and for those who love this, May May is a great place for it. This comes with chili sauce, chicken rice, and chicken broth. We also ordered the Saya Lamak coconut vegetable tofu curry, which is mildly spiced, nourishing, and comforting. What is this, Leah? This, I wasn't listening, The Sorry. Kaya toast. The Kaya toast bread and butter dessert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Is it good? Do you know what? I'm not normally a dessert person, but tonight I am. Oh my god. You're so cold today. I genuinely just feel like someone just gave me a hug. Someone just gave me my mouth a hug and I'm so happy for it. It's now 10 p.m. and we are now making our way back. Leah, what did you think of your meal? It was so good. I honestly, I can't get over how good it was. It was good and then so much better. It was amazing. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah, so. Yeah. Mimi, I believe, are going to be still available for takeaways mm. and for collections. So if you're in London, please oh. come support. Yes. Not only because the food is absolutely amazing, it's supports an incredible team, incredible food, and they deserve it and so much more. And it's honestly, the food is phenomenal. Like I've literally been like, the biggest fan for years. Oh, and we're coming here. I'm like, my stomach is so happy. A wonderful meal. Now, now on to the next. Hello my loves, welcome back to the channel. I'm just about to head out for lunch with my friend Laura at the Ivy in Soho and you're seeing the stress again. I thought I would actually take it out before lockdown happens. Today is Tuesday the 3rd of November. Today I'm wearing this dress with some polka dot tights just so it's a little bit more like casual. I'm um, going for lunch and then I've got some evening plans as well. So basically the same outfit but I just thought I would just take it out for a spin. I love any excuse to dress up and to play dress up. So yeah, 
dress is back on today, usual jewellery. I'm gonna wear these black boots from Timberland to go with it. But without further ado, let's get into town now. And are we, did you order the fries? Yeah. I'll get them some sourdough as well with that. As well. we'll, go, we'll go all out. We'll go all out. Thank you. Look who it is, Laura Bubble. <laughs> Today we're gonna literally make the most of today. Gonna eat the world. Yeah, we have <laughs> more than so much. Just so much, I don't care. We've got cocktails. That Yay. was me, not reacting to cocktails, that was me. Oh, yeah, reacting to the food. <laughs> Some fresh sourdough and a starter of smoked salmon later, our cocktails arrived. So I've ordered cocktails, so this one is called the Gainsborg and it's served in cognac glass. I'm sitting outside, we've got the outdoor heater as well, and we've ordered. So I've ordered a shepherd's pie, because I'm like, what am I not going to have over the next month? Shepherd's pie, because I can't really make that in an air fryer, and I don't have an oven. So I've ordered shepherd's pie and then a travel parmesan chips and then a whiskey. <laughs> A proper like British day out. And there's Laura. Hello. Hello. So we're like swapping seats. So, oh, your cocktail looks so good. So you've got the Kia Royale. Yeah. Oh, I do love Mia Shepherd's pie, especially when it's chilly outside. It's really comforting. I love gravy. I love mashed potato even more. And it's one of those classic British dishes you just can't get enough of. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the final day before lockdown. Today I'm wearing this oversized leopard print smock dress with a thick black waist belt and over the knee boots. My friend said this belt gives off like proper Santa vibes. So yeah, Santa's wearing a leopard print dress. This is what it looks like. The boots are super comfortable and it gives you a little bit of height and they're just great to wear if you don't want to wear tights and it just kind of still keeps you warm but also it just kind of elevates the outfit a little bit more and just makes it a little bit more like sexy with the leopard print and uh, yeah feeling it and I just want to go all out because I'm gonna be having a month of loungewear probably or filming fashion videos from the flat so I might as well just go and like dress up have a good time and then come back um, over the next month over a lockdown content <laughs> Beautiful autumnal day in London and it's super, super shiny, it's super sunny, all cosied up and ready for some food. Mercado Mayfair is situated in the Grade 1 listed St Mark's Church. It's a sustainable community market that focuses on bringing global flavours from locally supplied ingredients. There are two levels of food and drink stores as well as a roof terrace and a wine cellar at the basement. They're currently offering free next day delivery within zones 1 to 3 if grocery orders are over £40. I went to the pasta London store and I stood for a good five minutes trying to decide which pasta type and sauce to go for. In the end, I ordered with a homemade carbonara and it was delicious. I mean, you can see it on my face. That is a face of pure joy right there. I definitely needed to stroll down Bond Street and Oxford Street after that and it made me so excited to see all the Christmas lights on display already. After 30 minutes, I somehow found room for dessert at Bubble Wrap in Chinatown. I can see my little bunny panna cotta. Oh, it's ready! <laughs> Yay! Oh my god, it's so cute! Thank you so much! This one is inspired by the Netflix film Over the Moon and has the original bubble wrap, honeycomb gelato, bunny panna cotta, fresh strawberries and tempered chocolate. It was almost too cute to eat. Almost. We've had our bubble wrap, we've had a carbonara, we're so <laughs> full. <laughs> I'm like rubbing my stomach. <laughs> Enjoying the last few steps around London. We're now walking around Covent Garden, then Charing Cross, Trafalgar Square. See my Stazzy before I can't see her for goodness how long. No, it only took us like nine months to actually see each other. I know. We're getting separated again. And now who knows how long we're going to see each other again. Anastasia and I spent the rest of the afternoon walking around Trafalgar Square and generally admiring how beautiful the city and the buildings are. It was a warm sunny day, we had a lot to catch up on and it was just a wonderful day spent chatting away with my best friend. We slowly strolled over to Embankment Bridge and South Bank for sunset, marvelled at London's skyline and we stood there admiring the view before ending the evening with a glass of wine and a cheers until we next see each other, whenever that may be. Save these spots until we can eat in London's restaurants again, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this video. Stay safe and well. Thank you.